Hey guys, so today I decided to do um, kind of like a hair care shots to my hair routine. However, I was going to make this inside into a vlog, but I didn't have time because as of right now, when you're seeing this video, um, I'm probably most likely working again, and I'm going to be working right after I film this video. But anyway, I wanted to do a hair care routine. Um, I might do one when I do my nighttime routine and my morning routine, um, because most likely I will change it, because I really do change up my hair routine. But let me just tell you a little bit about my hair. So my hair, as you can see, is like this. It's about this long. Um, I used to have my hair longer. Uh, I did cut it, obviously, but I actually don't get my hair cut very often. I usually do once a year or even longer. Um, what I usually do is I kind of just twist the ends of my hair up really, really thin and I kind of just snip away. Um, I usually decide to cut my own hair. Um, I did have front bangs, if people remember. I did cut them uh, probably a few months ago myself. Uh, that was the first time I did that and um, they grew back out. So I'm probably just going to get them done again professionally. But anyway, my hair is, um, it looks like I have a lot of hair. But realistically, I actually don't have much hair up top. Um, my hair is very thin. It's always been like that since I was little. So my hairline recedes pretty far. Um, I've definitely tried using different shampoos, different um, oils and everything to see if that grows. Um, it doesn't. I think that's just how my hair works. Um, it's been like that since I was little. I never knew why. But it does look really thick. Um, so with dealing my hair, I have to be very careful because a lot of things I use actually could affect my hair, as in it can fall out very often. Um, especially sometimes when I wash my hair, a lot of my hair will come out. Um, I don't know if maybe I'll be bald one day in the future. It's just, it's never really, my hair is just never really, it's been like this kind of um, thickness. I haven't really seemed to have lost so much. And, um... It doesn't really seem to have thickened over the years. But um, with what I use, I do use a lot of oils on my hair. Um, mostly on the ends. I try to keep the roots as natural as they can be. Also, I do not wash my hair every day. Um, there's a lot of controversy as in, is it good to wash your hair every day? Is it bad to wash your hair every day? Um, personally, I just find I don't need to. Um... I usually could do every other day to every three days, really depends, I've been longer. The only time I really wash my hair is if it gets really, really greasy, I rather let the natural oil do its stuff, and I find the longer I wait, it doesn't stay, like, before when I used to wash my hair every day, it used to get greasy, like by the end of the night, I had to wash my hair. And I find it's just because maybe I was making my natural oils unbalanced, and the longer I would, I'd notice my hair just did its own thing, which I really like. And the natural oils are always good. I'd rather have that go through my roots than me putting some artificial stuff that has been chemicalized in some sorts of way. So what I usually do with my hair is my best thing and my best advice is coconut oil. So I just use this one. It's whatever I can get my hands on at the time. It's the Organic, Traditioner raw, organic Traditions Raw Coconut Oil. Um... It's vegan. I find it's right now. It's too good. I do use another kind. Um, I don't really have it with me because I actually use it on my cats. So this is my own container and I like that it was in a glass jar so I can reuse it. Um, this one works. What I usually do is I do a hair mask with this. Um, I just put coconut oil on the ends of my hair. Um, sometimes I just do the end so I'll do, that's not really my end, but <laughs> I'll do about this much. And I'll leave it in for a few hours to, like, half a day if I'm not working. And then some days what I do is once a week, this maybe once every other week, I will do my whole head uh, completely. My I will massage it into my scalps. I will coat my whole hair and my scalp. And I will kind of, like, put it up into a loose bun with a clip. And I will usually keep this in all day to overnight. And I'll just, to be honest, I just lie like a towel on top of my bed when I sleep. And then in the morning or so, I will rinse it out. And my hair is so smooth. It's so nice. It just feels right. My scalp feels good and it's moisturized. And I just find coconut oil is one of the best things to moisturize with. Um, like I do the rest of my body, I use coconut oil. Um, but my hair, it has worked wonders. Um, I abide by this and I preach this to anybody. Um, I don't know if there's going to be a difference with other brands of coconut oil because I've just been using this um to be honest it's whatever I can get my hands on but I definitely try to get the organic vegan coconut oil um 100% pure 
Um, I always like to read the back to make sure there's nothing added inside of it. Um, I don't really store this anyway. I kind of just leave it in my closet um, just because that's where all my hair care stuff is. As well, okay, so right now I switch up my shampoo pretty regularly just depending how I feel and how my hair is. Um, I don't have any vegan shampoo or organic shampoo. I just haven't really been able to get my hands on some. I would love to. I did look at Amazon for some brands and also I looked at other YouTubers for some brands. But if anybody knows good, um, co uh, like good vegan organic shampoos that is good for people with, um, kind of thin hair, um, and long hair, please comment below. I would love to try some. Obviously, I would love to use, um, organic or vegan shampoo. And even if it was a glass bottle or some reusable, um, container, that would be amazing as well. But for now, um, I use this because I have a tub, like, I have jumbo bottles and I'm not gonna waste it because... Like, I'm trying to avoid wasting. So obviously I would use it finished. I have the Marc Anthony's True Professional Hydrating Coconut Oil and Sheer Butter. Uh, it's sulfate free. It restores dry, damaged hair and promotes shiny, healthier looking hair. Um, so this is the shampoo. It is a huge bottle. So I did not want to bother uh, going out and buying other stuff. Um, and I also have the conditioner. So this actually came in a pack of two. I don't remember how much it was because I did buy it a long time ago. Um, I bought it at Costco. Obviously, that's why they're so big. Um, it's one liter. And for example, I don't wash my hair all the time. So the shampoo is pretty full. Conditioner, not so much. I really drench my hair in conditioner. Um, but to be honest, it works really nice. Um, the smell is amazing. Um, I do find my hair very soft and silky. Um, I don't know if it's really... I don't know if my hair is looking healthier, as in it's still... My hair kind of sometimes looks brittle, and I think it's probably because I don't chop my hair all the time. But um, I've always had that kind of dry hair situation, so I do try to moisturize it as much as possible. But it does work pretty well. Um, the, I, I guess I like, I like that it's sulfate-free. Um, I would recommend this if you don't have... Um, any organic or vegan shampoos, it is really good. Hypothetically though, not hypothetically, other than that though, I do use, um, I don't know why, I went on this Tresemme binge, so I actually have tons of bottles of Tresemme. Um, I heard mixed reviews on Tresemme's. I use Tresemme once in a while to sometimes maybe get out of this. Um, I also use Tresemme, I use it maybe once in a, once or a few times a month. Um, it's okay, I don't mind it. I have definitely a lot of bottles and different um, remedies from the bottles. Like some are just for shiny, some are for restoring. Um, it works pretty good. The smell is really good. But it's just, I heard mixed reviews on it. Some people say it's like amazing. I find it's okay. It's not like anything special for my hair. I don't really notice anything different with my hair when I use it. But I still have it. I just want to get rid of the bottles unless someone wants more Tresemme shampoos. You know where I am. <laughs> it's um, it's too many bottles. The other thing I like to use is so after my shower, after I use my shampoo and conditioner, I will come out of the shower. Um, I would usually spray my hair with some kind of uh, detangler. Um, I don't really have it with me. It is finished. I usually get the bottle. It's about like this big. Um, I forget what it's called, but I get it from my hairdresser. I haven't really been able to see. I haven't seen it in any stores. I have tried uh, hair stores. I have tried Walmart. I've tried Costco. I've tried Winners. I've tried all that stuff. I haven't been able to find it. I only find it at hair salons. Um, so I think it's one of those things that uh, you can only buy there. I find it... The smell is okay. Um, it's not my favorite smell. But it's amazing. I spray it on. My hairbrush goes through it so easily. And it just feels nice, silky and smooth right after. It's the best thing. Um... I preach that uh, leave-in hairspray detangler. Love it. I also use, um, I got this from the body shop. It's sheer butter. It's a nourishing dry oil for body and hair. I don't use it for my body. I just use it for my hair. And it's like falling off because it's so oily. The only thing I don't like about it is um, the fact that once I use it, like you're touching it, it's just so oily. Like, like look at that. I have to like keep it on a napkin. I love it. The smell is amazing. It definitely keeps my ends very smooth. As well, on top of all that crap, I use nourishing and coconut oil. I forget what the company is. It's organics. 
it looks like this. I'm actually almost done. I don't know if it's going to focus because the bottle's like clear. Um, I really like this stuff. It does help as well. Um, I spray, to be honest though, I spray this throughout my hair. Um, even if I'm not taking a shower, I actually spray this throughout my hair. Um, especially my ends. Uh, maybe once to twice a day. Um, I do go through these bottles a lot. I would like to try maybe a different, um, mix. Because this is just for weightless, no, hydrating oil mist. I would like to try maybe if they have something else. Um, I did have another bottle and it disappeared. Um, but, it, oh, here it is. I also use the Tresemme, um, Nourishing and Replenish. This is also like a detangler spray. I use this as well with this bottle throughout the days. Um, for example, I just brushed my hair. I actually threw this in my hair. Um, it's really good. Um, it does help. For a uh, detangler, it's not the best detangler. I'll be honest, I still take um, my hairdresser spray over this any day. Um, and then maybe once in a while, I will put in, it's for split ends, leave-in conditioner treatment. Again, I told you I have so much Tresemme stuff, I went on a binge, and because it was on sale. Um, so I also have this leave-in conditioner. Um, I like it, to be honest, I don't use this all the time. I did when I first got it, and then I kind of was like, it's, it's nothing special to it. So I use it once in a while, if I remember I have it, that's when I use it. Other than that, it just sits in my closet, which maybe I should throw out, probably that's why. For brush wise, I use, why well, didn't take my hair out, don't look at it. I use a bamboo brush. I have um, tons of these brushes. I use real bamboo brush. I find it works perfectly for my hair. I like, it does trap the natural oils inside the brush. I know people, when I first watched the video on that and someone was talking about it, I was like, what the hell are you talking about? It traps natural oils. I don't know why, but I rather use this than um, my old plastic brush that I have here. Uh, it's kind of a theme. I like the big brushes, but I don't know what my hair seems to um, brush better. It feels better. It feels really smooth and healthy when I use this brush. So I really recommend getting a bamboo brush. There is brushes that say they're bamboo. And then when you do your research on it and you read the back, it's actually not bamboo. It's not real bamboo. And I know that sounds weird. And you're like, then what kind of bamboo is it? I just don't know how to explain it, but it's like, if you really read the descriptions and everything, there's more, like, crap in the brush than anything else and bits of plastic. At least I know for a fact that I did look this up. There is no plastic in this brush. Um, maybe, I'm gonna be honest, maybe aside from the bristle, but I mean the base of, of it does not have any plastic compared to this. This is all plastic. However, I'll be honest, um... I, I do have a plastic roll brush for my bangs, but other than that, I prefer to use a bamboo brush. I do also have a bamboo comb as well as a plastic comb. However, I've had that plastic comb forever. Um, the thing is, though, with my bamboo brushes, um, the one thing I love to do, which really does help my hair, is I don't know if a lot of people know this, but when you have when you're putting in so much crap in your hair, like I use dry shampoo. When you put all of that stuff in your hair and then you brush your hair, you get a lot of crap trapped inside the bristles of your brush. What I like to do is once a week, is I take um, some soapy water, a little bit of coconut oil, and I mix it in. And I actually clean my brush very well. Um, I, t I bought a toothbrush. I just have a bamboo toothbrush and I actually just scrub my brush and make sure that all the nastiness of my hair products and whatever I've been using and my dirty hair stuff... I just brush it out till it's clean and I find that it is much better because all of that stuff is trapped in your hair and you come out of the shower with nice clean hair, you put all your nice oils in, but you use your brush that has had bacteria and everything trapped in it and you're putting it back in your hair on your scalp. I feel like that is defeating the purpose of healthy hair. So I recommend you wash your brush at least once a week or once every other week. I know it's time consuming a little bit, um, but I recommend it a lot. I recommend just soak it and then just scrub it and clean it out. It works wonders. I really do recommend that as well. i rather do that um, and take time out of my day to do that instead of putting bacteria and disgustingness and whatever builds up in it. I also recommend is every time you use your brush, I recommend you pull out the hair from your brush. Um, i rather just do that. It does um, clog off as well as the little pores that the bristles are putting in. And you're also putting back your dirty, nasty hair 
back and any bacteria that has been trapped in it back in your hair. So I rather work with my hair with clean um, and clean brush. I was gonna do some big extraordinary thing after it, but it's common sense. Just just keep it clean. Um, how I get my hair very long. I don't really know how I do it. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not the healthiest person. Um, I do have a weird eating situation sometimes. And I know a lot of people say when you eat healthy, when you keep your body active, your hair is gonna grow. I'm not the active. I'm not really that active as I don't have time and I don't really eat all the time. And I, when I do eat, I am a big junk food person. To be honest, what's been working for me in my trick is the fact that I just don't wash my hair all the time. Um, I don't cut my hair all the time. I try to do it myself. Um, and I really just don't listen to other people um, preaching. Yes, I watch YouTube videos just for little um, tricks and things not to use or to use. Um, certain things like to stay away from, like aluminum-based, sulfate-based, that kind of stuff. Um, but for me, it's what really works for my hair. I know by feeling my hair that it needs to be hydrating. It needs more moisture it needs more oils in my hair that's just what i know and i can tell from my own hair so i try to stick to that but i also try not to overdo it and yes it may look like i do overdo it with the amount of product i have but it's how you use it it's moderations and that's what i find like yes i do other i have other hair products but i try to limit myself and i do switch it up i won't just keep it consistent like this for like a year i do switch it up and it also depends on the weather as well the other big thing is, yes, I have a hair dryer. I have a straightener and I have, I forgot what it's called. It was very popular. You put your hair in and it pulls it in and it comes out with curls. I have all of that jazz. Do I use it all the time? No. Do I use it once in a while? Yes. For 2017, I'll be honest, I think I only used my straightener twice. Um, I only used my blow dryer twice. And I think that's it. I don't even think really I use my hair curler thing maybe once. And the only time I really use my hair straight, my hair bl hair blyer, hair dryer, is those days that I just was too tired to take a shower at night. I woke up, maybe I was sweaty or whatever, and I realized my hair looked so gross. Dry shampoo would not do it for me. I needed to wash my hair, and I have work and it's cold outside. That's the only time I will blow dry my hair. However, I would not blow dry it for it to be completely dry. I have it as a damp dry. It's just because. I don't know if you guys are like this as well, but when I go out with wet hair, I will automatically get sick. And I'm the worst person for that. I might preach it, don't do it. I do it all the time. I just never learn my lesson. Each time I get sick, I'm like, I'm never going to do it again. I never learn my lesson. I'm not that type of person to learn my lesson right away or anytime soon for that matter. But um, I recommend don't use it. If you can do your own stuff, um, sometimes I will braid my hair um, in little buns all over my head. Maybe I'll show you a um, tutorial how to do that. I just make my own natural cur uh, curls or natural waves. My hair is naturally wavy, so I don't really worry about that. And for straight hair, I just... Sometimes, like, straight hair is, like, not in, in this example. Like, I feel like that women, ladies, girls, whoever, I feel like so much magazines and TV shows have really, and commercials especially, has really showed society that your hair needs to be this and this and big and curly and straight. And I'm like, why don't we just embrace our natural hairstyle? And that's what I try to do. And I was that person in high school who, not even high school, elementary school, I would straighten my hair every single day because I thought that's what people liked. I thought that would make me pretty. I thought that was in. In the end, I damaged my hair so bad. It was so brittle. And I really think that's the reason why it never fully recovered. <laughs> it was so bad. And I'm not saying, like, I just straightened my... I would, like, burn my hair straight. To the point that I know this is gross, you would smell my hair burning. And if it was no smell, if the smell was not there, I knew I was not doing my hair justice. I knew this was not going to be straight. And after it was done, my hair was like, and I was like, yes, this is it. I'm popular. Still was not popular. Just say. But I was like, yes. And in the end, I look at myself now, my hair has never fully recovered from being so brittle like that even. I've cut my hair short to try to grow it back. It just, I really, I think, damaged my hair in that case. 
um don't get me wrong i still have that hair straightener and it still works good quality one but it wasn't worth it like now i realize as i'm getting older is my hair is perfect the way it is why should i be the one to judge that like i know how i look and i'm accepting that it might take a long time for me to accept every piece of me but i'm okay with my hair it's at the length i would like it i would like it a little bit longer but i have to let my body do its own thing and run its natural course i cannot just i cannot just make myself do it um i rather just the naturalness inside of me decide that um i feel like i'm preaching the environment the naturalness but no it really just you just gotta let your body run its course and i know those people out there who still want they might watch this video and they're like but i still want straight hair i still want curly hair yes there's ways to do it but why not do it in a way that is not damaging to your hair like there's heatless tricks and i know it could be tedious and it takes time but would you rather have healthy hair or damaged hair? Would you rather have to put so much product in your hair because it's damaged? Or would you have to rather just use natural stuff and your hair is fine on its own? Really, that's something to think about. Um, I find it's... I don't even know how to explain this. But I find it's just common sense. And the thing is, too, is I love my hair. My cats love my hair. They love just rubbing their face in it. Um, my other cat tries to eat my hair. Um, but... I think you should just stick with the natural stuff. Um, again, I really advise coconut oil. I will do another update, a more of a, maybe a vlog style, take you with me to get my hair done and what my hairdresser uses on my hair. I'm very particular of how much to cut, how much to, like, what to use. Or I will do also a video of, like, more in-depth routine of how I do my hair. But for now, um, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Obviously, this will be going up Sunday, which for you is going to be seeing it now. Um, if you have any comments, as in what to use or why I use or descriptions of what to use or any ideas maybe what I should use, please comment below. We can start a conversation and maybe your stuff I can put in my video. But for now, thank you. Have a great night. Have a great day. And if you're going to work like me now, enjoy work day.